Now to our other big story tonight. Thanksgiving is just four days away, and for many Connecticut residents, family gatherings will look a little different this year. Channel 3 Avenue News reporter Elliot Polikoff takes a look now at how the coronavirus is impacting Turkey Day plans. Elliot. Yeah, Kevin, it is no secret that COVID has limited travel or that it's prevented large groups of people from being in the same place. And with more and more positive cases here in Connecticut, health officials are encouraging this behavior to continue through the holiday weekend. Thanksgiving is about coming together, about traditions. But obviously, this year has been anything but traditional. Just staying home, making a turkey for the four of us. It's not what Ellen Nolan and her family are used to or what she wants. But with COVID cases now over 12 million in the United States, it's what's best. We're just going to stay in. And the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention agrees with that decision, advising Americans to avoid the travel and to try and limit physical contact to fellow household members. And I think we're all doing small, little, our own little thing just to keep everybody safe. Ellen's far from the only one in Connecticut thinking this way. In a recent AAA survey of Nutmeg State residents, almost 90% of responders said no to traveling this upcoming week. For those still getting in the car or on a plane, be sure to dig deeper on where and what you're getting into. So you really need to know exactly where you're going, what the restrictions are, what any limitations might be in terms of hotels and that kind of thing. Because unfortunately, the coronavirus is showing no signs of slowing down. It's a difficult year and it's almost over and looking forward to a vaccine. Out of that 90% of those in the AAA survey who said they aren't traveling this Thanksgiving, more than half said COVID was the reason why. And I know it's not the same, but FaceTime, Zoom, some potential alternatives to face-to-face -face contact. Live in the studio, Elliot Polikoff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.